Hey, what's up? I'm Michael. I haven't done one of these in a while, uh, but this is a new art haul. I had a, a rather good day today. Let me see if I can angle my camera just a little bit better. There we go. Uh, I went and bought some stuff. <laughs> I sold some of my art and I had enough to go get a few things that I was needing and wanting to try out and stuff like that. So uh, just supplies and stuff. So let's see what all I got. And by the way, uh, I have picked up several things between the last video and this one and I am not going to show those. Uh, I'm sorry. I just don't remember what I've got since the last one. So the first thing. The reason I need the big bag. Okay, there we go. This is a new cutting mat. Uh, if you want a cutting mat like this, they have them at like uh, at Walmart and stuff, and at Michaels and places like that, and they're really expensive. I've seen a mat this size for eighty dollars, and I absolutely don't see any reason that that should be $80. I'm trying to get my camera fixed right. But let me explain what I want with this one. I do not want to use it to cut with. I am going to place it right here. And with it here, I'm going to be able to tape my artwork to this so I can have something to tape it to besides this. And then I can do like watercolor or whatever. I don't want to use just my desktop to tape down something that I'm doing something wet with. Uh, it's just not ideal for me. I don't want to mess up my actual table. So if this gets messed up, I can just go spend another little bit, another $17 and buy another one instead of having to spend, you know, 150 or whatever desk costs now. So anyway. Let me move some of this out of the way so this will fit. And I'm just going to stick it right here. See how it fits here. Oh yeah, it, it fits almost just like my other board. It's a little bit longer this way than my other board though. That'll be good. Okay. I feel like Santa Claus with this big bag. Uh... I got some graphite paper because I want to do the initial sketches for some colored pencil stuff and I then take this and put over top of the paper I'm actually going to do the the colored pencil piece on and then just trace that on there with that. That way I won't have such a, a messy uh, paper with line art everywhere that I need to erase so much. I, let's see here. I got some brushes to put down my odorless paint thinner on my coloring color pencils. And if I can find them, I picked up some more colored pencils actually. And I'll get to the others in a minute. Let me stick these over to the side and then I'll do them last. Uh, I also went to Walmart and, and to Michaels and I found a marker pad at Walmart for four dollars and I said well I'm going to try it. Just wanted to see how it works. Uh, also at Walmart I picked up some stuff for my bookmarks. I got a, some yellow ribbon for the the Sun Conure and some UNC uh, North Carolina Tar Heels ribbon. Uh, I'm going to be using that for something uh, Christmas time. Let's see. I think that's everything in my big bag. Okay. All right. I got. Another white for if I run out, Prismacolor. Uh, this is 
ginger root Prismacolor, which I don't believe I have any of. I got a replacement for my uh, Crimson Red. By the way, if you go and look for Prismacolor, make sure that they're, the leads are centered or at least at the same place on both sides. If the lead is centered on one end and then all the way to the edge on the other one, uh, don't buy it. It's not worth your time or your money. Uh, this one is the best of the ones that I've seen. But that is Sky Blue Light. It's another one I don't think I have. And I'll, I will definitely be using a brown like that color there, that really light cream look. And then the really, really light blue. Uh, I picked up a new set of the Derwent sketching pencils. Now, if you go to Michael's and you buy, you want to buy any of the Derwent pencils, look at the open stock. Uh, these are like a dollar ninety-nine a piece. Plus, you usually get a coupon. So, if you buy this, they come with one of the Aquarella um, or the the Derwent sketching water soluble ones as well so that's four pencils four times two is eight dollars if you buy the same set in a pack that's got these three pencils with that other pencil they charge you twelve dollars so you save four dollars by just buying them like this or if you just get the three you save six dollars or half price so um, also Michaels is ten cent cheaper on Prismacolors now so uh, something else I wanted to do because I am trying to get into doing colored pencils and I have no reference really other than watching videos of other people. Uh, there is a, a very, very talented artist uh, named Lisa. I don't know her last name. She does the LaCree Fine Art website and um, YouTube and she is... My inspiration for doing colored pencil artwork. Uh, the reason I'm wanting to do colored pencil artwork is that I have been doing pastels and I love them, but they are extremely hard to store the pastel paintings and keep them from getting messed up. So, uh, colored pencil projects are not nearly as hard to store and uh, keep them from getting messed up in my opinion so another thing two other things I got I also picked this up uh, it's just colored pencil basics I love getting art books and a lot of people say all oh, the art books are not worth it but I really really like going through these even if I don't use everything in it or I just you know look through it one time or something I pick something up out of these every time I pick them up. It doesn't matter how many times I've looked at it. Every time I pick it up, I'm going to find something that's going to help me. So I got that one on Colored Pencil Basics. Uh, these are the Walter Foster, and they have always got really good books. Uh, I've got several of them already. And then I also got this one, which is one of the smaller ones, and it's Flowers and Colored Pencil. And this one has uh, different instructions on how to use this and make colored pencil more realistic looking and then this one does. So this one's got some things that are really good looking in it and this one has other things that are really good looking and they use different techniques so I want to get both of them. Now they had another one that was doing animals and it it looked like somebody just coloring with a crayon or something and I didn't really like that one so I didn't go for it but uh, I'm going to be going through these and this is my art supply haul for now I will go on and tell you what I have picked up a little bit of since my last one I got another set of pastels that are like a, a take along set if I want to they're half sticks they're just cheapo Michaels brand, the Artist Loft brand. And I also picked up two 
or a set of watercolor pencils so I have two sets of pencils and I'm building another set uh, one set is the artist loft by Michaels uh, the other set is the Kimberly's or General's Kimberly watercolor and I've had those for like 20 some years uh, and then I started picking up these individual um, the art grip aquarella Aquarell uh, Faber Castell and I just use my my pen here my brush pen which I didn't realize it had water in it <laughs> um, but that's some of the stuff that I've gotten uh, I picked up a couple of other little sketchbooks um, and I think that is about it actually besides maybe some, the sketchbooks like I said I think oh okay I picked up a bunch of other bookmark making supplies a bunch of different ribbons uh, I do want to show this other thing I got wrong drawer okay so I did get two other things if you're an artist and you need to measure things and center things at all go and buy one of these this is a zero centering ruler uh, I got this one at Hobby Lobby in the the stamping aisle uh, they have like the the card making supplies and stuff like that around there um, where the paper cutters are this was on that aisle I don't know the name of the brand but um well, it says it's made by Westcott, uh, but it's called a zero centering ruler. I've seen some called self centering rulers. I don't know why they would be called that, but um, these are excellent if you need to ever center anything. Uh, and just let me show you how you would do it right quick. So I can look at this and I say, okay, well, my zero is going to be my center point, and I just put it at okay that's three and one fourth and three and one fourth so I when I hit the same number on both sides I know that's my center so it's a very helpful tool I greatly enjoy it I've got some of these now uh, I've got two of the half inch ones I messed one up about and I, I've got one of the one half inch ones uh, let's see here I have two of these things now I have one that's a tape runner and this one is a dot runner and I use these to attach my ribbon to my bookmarks and the only other things that I have uh, picked up are I got a laminator um, I have some lamination sheets that I bought and just so you, you know what I cut my ribbon with these are pinking shears and if you look at them they have little teethies in them and it looks like a t-rex jaw so i'm going to name these rexies i i guess but uh, <laughs> these were my grandma's and they were in her sewing box <coughs> so i took them out to cut my ribbon with if you're cutting ribbon you need to use something like this because it will keep the ribbon from fraying uh, so that is everything I believe uh, so yeah that's that and I will see you later